Hi and welcome to Smart Repair. Today I'm going to remove the engraving from the back of an iPod. So the things we'll need is we'll need um, wet and dry sandpaper, um, 2,500, and we need a sheet of 1,500 wet and dry sandpaper. They can be got anywhere. Um, a motor hardware or um, a motor factors will, will do it as well. I'm going to speed up certain parts of the video, just um, it doesn't take that long to do, but just to keep the video short. So you can see here, um, I've applied a soapy liquid. I'm using glass cleaner. Um, it works well. And just working in small round circles, just where the engraving is. You don't want to come down on the apple because it will remove the apple as well. So you just want to, if you really want to concentrate where the name is. As you can see here, you can you can see the black that's um, been removed. Every now and again, just stop and clean it. Um, it'll clog up the paper on you, so keep it clean. You can see here, it works pretty quick as well. You don't need to don't need to spend all day on this. I'd say 10 minutes, and this job should be done perfect. You can see every now and again, I'm cleaning the black off, and I'm changing for a new um, a new piece of the um, wet and dry sandpaper. Remember to keep it wet every time you um, every time you um, go to sand. Make sure it's wet and, and soapy. The the soapiness kind of removes any kind of heavy material that's being taken off, and it stops your paper from being clogged as well. Um, take special care as well near the camera. You you really don't want to um, sand the plastic lens. It will be affected differently than the than the backing. Now, as you can see already, the the um, the text is completely removed, and the Apple logo and the writing at the very bottom hasn't been um, affected at all. The only thing we're going to do now is um, we're going to actually blend it in because it would be very shiny on the top and it would be noticeable. Um, you just want to be careful here not to remove the Apple um, engraving and the letters on the bottom. So just literally a couple of seconds. That's it. You can buy the sheets of sandpaper singly as well. I think they're like five cent each. Now we're going to move up to 2500, which is a finer grit, just to kind of, it, it more or less it polishes the surface and removes all the sander marks from the 1500. Um, it just makes um, the final polish just an, an awful lot easier. You see here, I just speed it up a small bit. There's, it's, it doesn't take long at all. Now, as you can see, as a final step, you um, you don't need to, but I, I like to do it. It's um, just a small bit of car polish. Any kind of polish you have, um, more a polish than a wax. So wax wouldn't really work, but a polish will will get rid of any um, residue that's on the, um, the iPod and give it a nice shine. Again, any kind of car polish. Um, ideally, if you had um, metal polish, like the Adisol. Metal polish works very good. You can see the residue it's removing as well. Okay, we're just about done. And you can see it's completely removed and the iPod is next to new condition. If this helped, um, do like down uh, just below the video, comment as well and um, subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.